Okay, today is the 31st of October. I haven't had any sleep. Um, I started working on my hair around 6 a.m. I stopped around 8.30 to finish making myself breakfast. And then I tried to go to sleep. And I, um, they wouldn't allow me to. So I... Set an alarm for noon because that was the longest I could afford to chase sleep. So I was supposed to file the um, the um, the small claims forms today, but I'm gonna file them tomorrow. Um, I have time. It's supposed to be their last thing in the apartment downstairs, but suddenly the agents are acting like they faked the moving, which I wouldn't surprise me because um, I was only gone a couple of hours and the truck never came back. So, um, maybe they just moved his things. Um, into a storage unit or something. But anyhow. He's in an apartment downstairs right now. Has been. Um, like I said, every day this month. Um, they said they weren't able to give up the opportunity to uh, maintain their interests. They um, have a sale with their curses and spells um, regarding the two females who moved in next door. They've been giving me these odd high feelings, um, like the negative effects, like I've spoke about in the past, like when the guy down, when the apartment downstairs would do meth. And I saw those girls getting high, but I never said anything about it because you know until it gets to a point where it's affecting me it, it don't matter i don't give a fuck what you're doing and i'm never watching it checking for no one um i have a viewing of 115 of another house that um I, i'm looking at hold on one second okay so where did I leave them off? Yeah, they picked up the cursing and spelling about them. Um, and they've kind of got into the um, moving of vehicles to suggest they're different people somewhere different. Um, where did my phone go? Around 2 or 3 a.m. I text the caseworker at the housing authority about my form. I, you recall, I even spoke with her supervisor and she still had not as she claimed. She mailed it back out. Knowing my mail situation, I mean, I asked her specifically to email it. So, she was trying to be on some, some shit. But today she emailed it and it had a different price. Um, noted as the previous, so I may have um she might have sent out a notice when that garnishment took place around february march um and i never got it because you know my mail was going to a p.o box and they won't send their type of mail there and um so it's a chance that i've been overpaying rent when you know i call myself shortening so instead of underpaying four dollars i would have been overpaying six in which that's something i needed to know like i have to um find the reference i had give her a call you're going to see all that to um sort it out so that when i um make this deposit tomorrow um you know i can um, deduct from it what i overpaid um 
filing fees for the um, small claims court are 110 apiece. Um, I'm taking Kelly right away because I think she's trying to run and I think the government is just trying to um, detour me and exhaust me so that I can't get anything done. Um, and then I'm going to take the landlord afterwards and I'm still going to file the um, federal housing equal opportunity thing. I'm going to give them a call too. But that showing is at 115. It's 1228. Um, I'm going to pause this for a moment while I work on my hair some more and get this reference. Then I'll make the phone call. And this is the new left. What do you think? I'm not going to have the big ponytail anymore. It'll be like a little one. It'll be full of a little, like not long. So I purchased this yesterday and I brought it in like, I don't know, probably around 5 a.m. this morning. Um, so they had like, this one move is calmer, you know, and then this one that never plays music where you can hear it, play music where you can hear it. So like, they were trying to claim the boombox. That they were the ones that got it. And I got this obviously because the apartment downstairs is not about to be occupied and I can enjoy music for um louder inside for a short time I'm gonna be here. Man, I swear though, like they were putting my back in so much pain. Like, and just making sure that I couldn't fall into a doze. I want to kill them. I still might. It said power on Bluetooth mode. Okay, let's see. Rip. I guess this might be it. Bluetooth connected. All right. Let's see. It's got to have a little thumb to it. I mean, it's an eight inch woofer. Let me find a song. Something slow. Cause I be turned up in the shower. I ain't trying to, I'm mad as fuck. I'm tired. Hmm. It's not playing. Oh, that's weird. It is playing. But not like it should. Oh, I can't let you hear it. <laughs> okay, so here are all the um, housing assistance payments, like the amendments to them. So it's a contract and lease um, between me, the landlord, and AMHA. Um, so as I said, I recalled it being um, three sixty nine, and that's. The most recent, that's the um, reference that I have. You probably can't see that. I mean, how is this okay? Okay, there we go. This is on Facebook already. So, um, but then, uh, I don't have a printout and my printer is messed up since I don't, you know, my Wi-Fi situation has been jacked up or it's been, um, since it's been different, it's been messed up. So anyhow, I'm just going to put these in chronological order real quick. So that's 129, 2019. I think that's the oldest I have. This one is also 129 one night in 2019. Um, this is 1028 2019. 
10, 27, 2020. Six one two thousand twenty one ten one two thousand twenty one and then one nineteen two thousand twenty two. Okay, so where's my phone? Let's give her a call. Hopefully she answers. Google voicemail. GI Bill. <laughs> You've reached Stephanie Murphy. I'm unable to get to my phone. Please leave a detailed message and I'll return your call as soon as I can. Please leave a message at the tone. When finished, you may hang up or press pound for additional options. Hello, Stephanie. It's Tequila. I was calling to get some information from you regarding the HAP. Um, the most recent amount that I've been paying is $369. And I presume that maybe you know you sent out a piece of mail to me um, around the time that my social security check was garnished and that may have been the change because yours reflects um, that it was previously or most recent 359 and um, I just want to know when that change for 359 was effective um, you can call me back or either shoot me an email I just if you can give me the date the effective date for 359 I greatly appreciate it send this message press pound or hang up to read okay so that's that um it said that it should take about 20 days i mean 28 days in order for the the claim In order after you file the claim for the court date, and I'm just trying to make time, make sure I have time to prepare. Um, so this is them. Summit County Clerk of Court, how can I help you? Yes, hi. Um, I have a quick question regarding Small Claims Court. How long will it be from the date that I file? For the actual court hearing. Okay, was this in municipal court or the common pleas court? Um, common pleas. So both municipal and common pleas have small claims. Okay. Um, do you have the case number? No, um, I haven't filed it yet. I'm just asking typically how long, like what's the time frame between those two. So filing and then actual court date. And I didn't know that both municipal and um, common pleas have small claims okay um there really isn't a time frame um they're all different because uh, it has to go through the procedures of issuing service um and actually getting um service to the defendant okay. um and then there's like all these motions um that have to take place and what the um court decides um so range it could be like five months to you know, it could be up to five years. Before an actual court date? A uh, court date, um, usually they don't have court dates. Uh, it, the court just, uh, or the judge just rules on it. Um, you can request a court hearing um, to see by jury um, if you'd like when you open the case. Um, oh, wow. So this is new to me. I was under the impression that I would file a small claims um document you know in order to have a hearing between me and the opposing party in front of a judge that doesn't take place anymore uh, usually it doesn't really mm -hmm. so could you I mean, tell me more about the process I, I just want to be familiar and make sure i'm taking the route right the right route i mean how much are you what's the amount that you're going for okay i'm going for the max for both um 
one is against a tenant and the other is against the landlord so because the landlord has an LLC is 15,000 and then the tenant is 6,000 okay um, I mean it all depends I mean I can't really tell you a time frame right so when I file this um the document that you guys have for file for small claims do I need to present all the evidence with it yes um, so you you file your complaint um, and then you can have exhibits uh, you can always file more exhibits later on onto the case um, but it's usually recommended up front so we can send all the, like the exhibits and the complaint to the defendant that you're going against I was so not, I did not know this is how this works. Has it always been this way or is this like because of the pandemic? It's always been like this. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, first time for everything. Well, thank you so much for that tidbit of information. Yeah. Now that yeah. I know that when I bring this form in to pay that $110 filing fee, I also need to have, you know, a, a packet of evidence of some sort with me. I, I didn't know that. I was going to just turn the form in. Okay, at the common pleas to open a case, it's $325. Okay, and what is the um, difference between common pleas and municipal court? Um, usually, I mean, work, common pleas is a bigger court. Um, so we usually go 15000 and up, but we take any case. Okay. Um, and then municipal court, their filing fee is like 159 um, and they usually go up to 6000 Got it. So I will have to do one for each. But the same form is okay, correct? Uh, we actually have different forms. Oh, okay. Can I access it online? Yes. Uh, our website is clerkweb.summitoh. Clerkweb.summitoh.net. Yes. And then underneath the picture of Sandra Kirk, um, you can go to legal documents or legal forms um, and then go to the civil department okay. and then you'll, it has all our documents. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah. it. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, they was about to set my ass up for the okie doke. I was going to go down there today and pay 110 but then I told you I decided against and I wasn't even going to make this phone call. I thought I just had an understanding of what the process was like. And then, I'm like, I'll go tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I called and found that out. I didn't know I had to prepare the evidence and submit it that way. And that you never see people in person. Now, you know they're calling me her and her me. And that will probably get me ruled against. But I have so much motherfucking evidence that... Um, there's no way I can lose. That's, ain't that about a bitch? I got paid three hundred some dollars to file against the landlord, and that's a motherfucking housing inspection. I gotta pay for one of those soon. Oh my goodness, it's almost one fifteen, but she hasn't said anything. She sent me a text and I didn't get it.
okay i'm not going to take this call here because i told you like pretty much everything that takes place in this space they try to claim um and that's kind of how they are getting um uh, manipulating things to be done for them okay um so i gotta get out of the area um she has a reply back she's probably driving um but the time is now 1 15. it's time for the appointment and i'm going to run over to the library and um talk from there okay i'm back i took off i'm eating right now i grab subway while i was out So there was an overpayment. That's what I wanted to talk about. Let me find this number first. The viewing went well. I want to make an offer. Okay, so easy. They have a list of numbers. Hold on. I don't have nothing to drink but vitamin water and water. And I have a taste for something different. Like carbonated. They talking all kind of crazy about the landlord talking to hide out in the apartment downstairs until I leave. And that's what the parents are saying. You're not letting the car go through. Still not letting it go through. I didn't wait in this morning either. Cause I didn't get no fucking sleep. A pound up. 237. Let me try standing near the window. Not that it's ever took that before, but shut up.
Nothing. Anyhow, the curses and spells, like all last night and this morning, were they just gave me a, a shot in my vagina too. Were about we trying to get her to get out these headspaces. It's trying to mean like they're trying to get me to comfortable, be comfortable with not looking like myself. And when they say asking for hormones, they're referring to the neighbors, like the parts of my DNA that they've attacked, and all the attacks that they reply with that. You know, like them not wanting to go backwards. Okay, so that means that them how they've been made up to think a little bit more they don't want to be reduced and they don't want to look like they used to and they don't want to look like what they do and they said we can't we're trying to not work we trying to get her to be to get used we trying to get her to get out of these head spaces over and over and over a fucking game I'm done with my hair it's been a rough day I, I don't have a lot to say I'm in pain and I haven't had any sleep. Um, so I'm going to end this video. And start new tomorrow. It's 9.54pm. Um, I almost feel like I might be able to fall asleep. Um, the only thing I've had today is a foot long from Subway. I had tuna. Which means I didn't eat enough. So that's probably going to be a problem later. Or maybe not. I need to take some s But I can't afford to sleep through tomorrow. And let me check one thing before I close this up. This has been open for the longest. And I was, I wanted to shut it and I was like, oh, I'm still in the middle of a video. So I probably should close my video out. I don't want to hear a bitch stop playing stupid with me. Science. It's scheduled that to go to them tomorrow and that means okay boom it's showing a little bit already but they still need this form for me and i can't do anything because my fucking printer is now i need that printer so bad for so many things i think i'm gonna start walking to the library this week and probably go um every day um library library um just so i can print and i could have used my mercedes bin no i couldn't it would have fell open shut up Paul crunchy You know, I really don't know what to say about that. I think it's kind of trifling. Considering what's been done. Hmm. I don't know Maybe tomorrow. Let's say Ashley get it. Let's say Thursday. But just because I had number seven filled in, I'm like, huh. No. You can't touch me with nothing.
I don't think you understand. No, I'm not hardballing y'all, and I'm not playing either. He's not thinking at all. So maybe tomorrow for that. Okay. That's the end for now.